straight into the England debrief. Gary, I'm going to start with you because you've been a player, you've been a coach, you're now a pundit when it comes to England. I think the questions being asked from the sofas of England are, why does this keep happening? Why do England keep taking the lead, dropping deep? Why does it seem to be that the sum is so much less than the individual parts? Yeah, it does feel like we've been here before. Um, it's not a time for panic. I don't think Gareth does panic, but it's a time for him to interfere and find solutions and change something because three things that we've seen in this first two games. We saw the first game, we let them off because they hadn't played together, first game of a tournament. But when you see it a second time, it becomes a pattern and a pattern needs disrupting if it's a negative pattern. And in balancing the team, square pegs in round holes. Then as a probably a... A reason for that then comes that you start to drop deep as a protective measure because you feel like you're not comfortable. And then the third thing occurs, which has happened for England over the years, is we can't play out through midfield, we can't play out from the back, and we end up giving the ball away, and we look like a mess. And I and we know how this ends. He has to change something now, I think. Yep, England and England fans have seen this film too many times before. Let's try and get specific if we can, Roy.